Hello, hello. Welcome to the Deborah Berry channel. If this is your first time, I am Deborah Berry. This channel is about fashion and styling and doing everything we can, ladies, to hold on to our pretty. Every, everything, you know, everything. It takes a lot sometimes. And I want to give a warm welcome back to my returning subscribers. I appreciate your love and support you show me each week. Let's get started. Lips. I'm if I look a little different, I'm trying to work my way up to wearing a nude. And this one, it's, it's pure color envy. It's Estee Lauder, like the one I showed last week that had the beautiful red case, you know, with the, this is a navy blue case. I've had this a long time. It's pure color envy and the color is called Potent. And it's like a peachy, pinky color. And I just have on my rum raisin Bobbi Brown lip pencil with it. So we're going to see if I make it through the whole video with these. No lip lip color to me. But I'm trying to get used to it because I think it looks so great on everybody. When they, the lips are almost the color of their, their skin. But then they're shining. And it, the, the, everything else stands out. It just looks looks so good so I'm trying to get there even though I'm not giving up on my hot pink and and, and fuchsias and, and my beautiful reds you know I love a red lip on my nails you're gonna be surprised it is not Olive in June this week I went and looked through my supplies this is one is a it's by Orly O-R-L-Y I get it at Sally's and this one I've had a while and this is called the color is called Kiss the Bride so it's it's like a pale pink white it's not white white let me put it here sometimes i like that kind of white i love just new colors but with a little bit of blush to them so to speak <laughs> so ladies how you been how's your week going how is june going for you we are in the second week of june and father's day is this weekend Take care of those dads. Take care of those dads. I got my husband all. Oh, I got everything I wanted to get for him. So I'm sure he'll like that. So take care of the dads. We need them. We need those good men in our lives, don't we, ladies? And the children need those good men in their lives. But let's see. Oh, topic this week. <laughs> and I know the hair. It's steady coming out, but it's just in a ponytail today because we're not going to even go there. But this week, I wanted to dress up for you this week. I don't know why. I felt like I haven't dressed up in a while. Just dressy, dressy up. And I want to do a few little dress up looks with some old things in my closet. I do have one new dress. Stick around to the end, like last week. And it's another Banana Republic find. It's a beautiful dress. And hopefully you'll like it. I like it. I, I, I'll I show it to you at the end. But we're going to start off with... Just some dressy looks to, to um, cause you want to always be ready. You never know when something comes up. Oh, you know, come to this function and it's in two weeks or who wants to go shopping? It the hardest thing is to have a fancy function to go to and you don't have anything to wear. You feel like you don't have anything that's gonna really work for you. So that's the time, you know, to keep certain pieces in your closet that you can dress up, dress down. Because sometimes it's just a matter of adding a blazer or adding jewelry to take something to the next level. And sometimes you might want to dress, have a dressy dress that you want to dress down. I was watching Sharon at Ageless Restyling, I think yesterday, her Sunday video. And she was going to meet the girls. And she wanted to take, she took a dressy skirt, not one. She took a dressy skirt and dressed it down with an oversized men's white shirt. She put a cap on. I'm telling you, girlfriend was jazzy. I, I, <laughs> and she put, put the cap on and she put some nice, she put on some tall heels because the skirt was so long. But that again is getting cost per wear and getting more wear out of your piece just because you bought it for a fancy affair. You can wear it to something else by dressing it down just like you can dress up something that's classic and basic. And that's what I'm going to do with this video. With the next two looks, is I have two two classic basic skirts that I can dress up or down, and I'm going to dress them a little bit for you. But I'm getting ahead of myself, right? I'm getting ahead of myself. But I'm going to uh, get dressed. You know, I'm sitting here with no shoes on. I always do that. I don't have my shoes on, and I think I'm going to um, film downstairs again this week and uh, spend some time with you. 
thank you for coming to spend some time with me and I'll be right back okay all right ladies what's the old saying if you stay ready you never have to get ready and you're always ready and this is just a classic white dress it always when I put it on it looks like I'm the bride so I wanted to tone it down some to make it more like I'm not the bride and I'm not trying to upstage the bride. I'm just being, you know, me being dressed. And let me break it down for you. It's a white dress. I've shown it a couple of years ago. It's probably about, this dress is about maybe six years old now. Going on six years old. Never worn it really anywhere. Every time I put it on, I go, it's too dressy. I'm not quite sure, you know. And I love it. It's an Eli Tahari. I ordered it from Nordstrom's and it's been hanging in the closet. I just paired it with my Kate Spade rose gold bag because I didn't know like what bag to put with this. But I wanted to show you how I, this chain makes it top heavy. Let's do that. Voila! I paired it with just this blazer. It's an old Ann Taylor blazer to kind of tone down all the whites. Put my little white flower to kind of like say, no, we're not bridal and we're not trying to upstage the bride. And I just have on my Alfani white sandals. You saw them last week. I've had them since last summer because it's it's very long, very long dress. And uh, the belt is an Amazon purchase I've had for a while. It can be worn as a necklace or it can be worn as a belt. Now let me show you this. This dress is nice. It's flocked. I guess I need to... The texture in it is so beautiful. You can see that. It's like flocked on here. Really sheer. It's an overlay to the, to the lining in the dress. It's gorgeous. It's simply gorgeous. I have to watch it because this bracelet will catch on it. But I want to show you how if I want to tone it down a little more or dress it a little different if I change the accessories. You see I have on the rhinestone earrings now. I feel like Sharon. Can you see? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> I'm just playing Sharon. But I have on the rhinestone earrings and this bracelet. Now if I changed let me get this bracelet off. I'm going to change accessories for you. It's a beautiful old bracelet I've had. Another one of those Dillard's finds. And you can get those Dillard's finds. And I'm just going to put this bracelet on. I'm going to take off the rhinestone earrings. Okay. Take off the rhinestone earrings. And I'm going to put on just some gold. These will be my Anna Luisa little gold drops. I love these earrings. Love them, love them, love them. Let's see, you know me, I have no mirror down here, so it's going to be the feel thing. Put it in. And these are pretty easy to put on. It's just a little, I love a drop earring. <laughs> I love a drop earring. It's just, you know my Tory Burch drop earrings I have. And we're going to put this one on. Something how just kind of knows where to go, right? So, take this off. Take this jacket off. And you can and give you a chance to see how the dress is made. It's a V in the back. It's A-line. I need more bust up here for it. <laughs> But you know how that goes. I need that all the time. It's a good, good dress, right? Good dress. So let's put, I have my white blazer. It's just a white um, Banana Republic white blazer. And I'm telling you, it was beautiful the first year I had it. I put it in the cleaners and it's, they took away all of it. It had some kind of coating on it that was gorgeous and made it feel dressy. But, you know. Makeup gets on the collar, you have to, you got to get it clean, right? But this kind of changes it and makes it a little sportier, a little simpler with the gold jewelry, just that. And you can take the belt off here. 
wear it button if you so choose, <laughs> if your hips aren't too big. But I wanted to just give you, show you that as a result. And like I said, this can be worn as a necklace or a, it's a necklace or a belt, some kind of way. I, I'm not, you know, pre, I'm not privy to it, but <clears throat> probably if I do it correctly. So there you go, ladies. I can play with that a little bit. I've got this on and that on. And I can still put the flower on. Let's dress it up. And I'll show you how why I love this flower. The flower pins. I got this one at Dillard's, right? I don't usually pin them on. On the back, you know, they have the pin, they have the clip. I, I hardly ever pin them on unless I'm sticking them in a certain spot. But I'll just clip it on somewhere. Clip it with that and I'm done. I'm done. Got my flower. Got my white on. And I like it with the white white. And I like it with the longer jacket too. So what, what do you think? The longer jacket, the shorter jacket? It works. It needs a jacket because I'm always cold, of course. Now my next two looks, it's, you've seen these tops before. And they were in a video where I had them with, uh, I showed a dress and I said the cutest tops ever. They are still the cutest tops ever and I am going to put those on for you to show, show you how, ways to wear those, you know. But I think that this look is elegant, classy. And if you've got that fancy white dress and you want to get some wear out of it and, and and if you're not the bride, you could be the bride in this dress. You could be the bride in this dress for sure. But you're just going to be a guest and you're just going to, or you're going out to a, a function or an all white party. You know how those happen all the time. Everybody wear white. Here's your chance to wear all white if it's, if it's you know, dressy enough affair. So I'll be right back with the next look for you. In the meantime, keep it classic. Keep it simple. Make it oh so pretty. And you will stand out and you will be gorgeous. Don't ask me where that came from. Here I go again. Filling in, filling in, filling in. I'll be right back. Who doesn't love navy and white? Check it out, ladies. This is a mango skirt. Navy blue. I just ordered this from Macy's last week, so I will list it. It has a nice stretch in it. It's to the ankles. To the ankles with my white ink shoes on. It has a little kick pleat in the back. I hate long skirts where the split is up to here or up to here. When I want it long, I want it just all nice and uniform long. A little bit of a split is fine. I know, I know, I know. The top, the top, the top is what it's all about, right? <laughs> this top I showed last year. I'm sure I showed it last year. It's Antonio Milano. It is the prettiest, cutest little top. Cutest little top with the peplum. It's got a little lining here under it. Really, really well made. And it's just off the shoulder. Goes well with this look. Of course, you know I stuck the flower up there. Flower power, right, Sharon? And I just, it's just perfectly comfortable peplum top. And the skirt is very comfortable. This one has, it has a little pocket here that I'm not going to open. It's just really mango. I ordered this one in a medium. Usually mango, I'll go for large because you never know how their stuff is going to fit. Now, I have the beige skirt almost made like this, and it's in a large. And it's almost a little boxy on me, but I'm going to put that on next. <laughs> yeah, that's next coming up. But I wanted to show you the basics of being ready. If something comes up, you dress up, you put that on, and you're out the door. You're classic, you're simple, you're pretty. <laughs> my fashion, my style, my age, my choice. And I was my choice also, I was going to carry, thinking of carrying the, this is the Curator little off-white clutch. Nice little clutch, and it has a shoulder strap. But that goes well with it, with the gold accents. 
And I was thinking I could even do my Ralph Lauren little brocade because of the navy. How many times can we find something navy that's really cool? I could take the shoulder straps off, you know, take that crossbody off and just carry it as a little cute little bag. Because ladies, who doesn't love a cute little bag? Especially if you're out somewhere and you've got your little outfit on and the tables are always small and you don't want to sit your purse all on the floor or whatever, never. You can sit it on the table and it'll look so cute sitting on the table, you know. Look at that. I love that bag. So either one of these would go. Either one would look really nice with it. So ladies, check it out. You know, check Dillard's. Dillard's always has great sales and every now and then you can run across that piece that just does things to you when you put it on. It's like Sharon says, you know when it's right when you put it on. You said, this is it. This is what I'm going to wear. This is what I'm feeling like today. This is, this is me. This is, <laughs> this is me doing me the best, you know, that I can, that I feel, you know, and I think the white shoes work with it. They're kind of bright, but I think the white works with these. A nice pair of navy would have been nice too. And, you know, I can get a lot of mileage out of this navy skirt with other tops, with a simple white shirt, with a long white shirt. It's just get you a basic classic, like you need your black, and I've got that black Chico's, and then you need your, your navy. And I, if I could find a white one with a lining in it that was, you know, wouldn't show through, I'd wear that for the summer too. Can never have too many white blazers, white skirts, <laughs> you know what I mean? White shop, right, white, white tops. I'm thinking shirts and tops in the same. But what do you think, ladies? Now I'm going to show you, I have this top in black. And I'm going to show you this top in black to give you an idea. Because it's, it's one of those things, again, when you find something that's really nice, you buy it in all colors. I think they had a print one, but it didn't have, I needed a size four. They didn't have a size when it got down, because I got them when they were marked back to $47, and then you got more off. So, the fabric, the cotton is wonderful. It's, it's a heavy cotton. It's got that lining, and it just, the pleats just lay. It just lays. It just, it's, it's gorgeous. And this, I, this is what, remember the pearl belt? It's still sitting here. This, I bought this belt specifically because because the zipper is silver in this, in these tops, I wanted a rhinestone belt. And I couldn't find one on Amazon and I found this and I thought, this would be cute to wear as a belt. But I wanted it to just be right there. This one kind of, of course, is, it's got this little hook where you just find a spot. Find a spot, Deborah. Come on. My God. Here we go. And I wanted to put a belt on with it. I can't even see how it looks. I thought a little belt right there. I kind of like it. You could do that too. You could put a little belt. And I thought a rhinestone belt with it when it's really dressy, you know, and do, you know, do the rhinestones. But I just got on the pearl drops. Who doesn't love some shoulder skimming drop earrings, right? So I'm going to put the other top on in this color with the other mango skirt in, in a tan color. And then, then we're going to come up to that finale. you got to see that dress. It's a showstopper as always. But, you know, thank you for hanging around. If you like this kind of top, topics and this kind of fashion and styling, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe if you haven't, and I will be right back with the next look to try to enhance you to dig in your closet. You know, this is last year, this is this year. If you get those good pieces, you just add another piece and you got a whole new outfit just from adding another piece. Just from adding another piece. <laughs> I'll be right back with the next one, ladies. Same top, different color. Remember what I told you, when you find something good, get it in all the colors. This is the same top in black. And I put a black flower on it. Just 
black on black, black curator clutch. It's like the white one. Comes in handy when you have just a little black bag. Mango skirt in the tan. You've seen this skirt. I've used it in a few videos. Again, these skirts, they feel nice. They won't wrinkle and, you know, and it, this one has the pleat right here in the front. Right there. And I have on my Tom Fisher black patent little mule-like shoes. I need to get these lady. A few of you, I think, bought them. So that's a nice little shoe to have in your arsenal, as I call it, <laughs> in your collection. Comfortable heel, a little strap, a little pointed toe. Put this on and you are ready to go. Change the drop earrings to my favorite ones with the little crystals on the end. As Sharon says, what do you think? Hmm? What do you think? <laughs> I'm sure I look horrible up that close. But I trust you and I know you will not judge me on how old I look. But ladies, think about it. I want you to be ready. Have your pieces there when something dressy comes up. You know, you're ready to go. And sometimes it's just a matter of a skirt and a top. Simple as that. In the fall, it could be a cute sweater and a skirt. Summer, you put your basic top on, put on a nice skirt that's comfortable, long, you know. And if you don't like long, you can do the, the knee length right below the knee. Or, you know, if you've got the legs, do the short. But have those pieces in your wardrobe that are always there, always ready, grab and go, mix and match. <laughs> be classic simple and pretty you know just just like that all right now but now that's coming up it's a beautiful dress i'm gonna put that on for you next but i wanted to show you these separates i still got my other bag see these bags are great you can go to the curator site and still order these they're just great little clutches to have and those two colors i still have that one out but I am really loving this outfit, enjoying it, comfortable. I can eat, I can sit, I can walk, I can step. It's not so straight that I'm constricted, you know what I mean? So, ladies, you have any ideas already for your closet? Think of something really cool and mix and match it and put it together. Because I can put this with, like I've showed you, with a casual shirt and wear it. But I can dress it up with a nice dressier piece. And this again is that, that oh, I wish they'd do some more of these. It's just that heavy cotton that structure and the black flower. <laughs> I was being really crazy with the black flower, right? But the black flower is a great piece to have. And ladies, I'll be back with the finale. Hold oh, on. Coming up, coming up, coming up. She is dressed. And looking for Prince Charming because I feel like the princess in this dress. Check it out, ladies. The princess in this dress. Oh my goodness. Just look it over. Look it over. You know it's my color, right? It's my tan neutral color. It's got all these pleats and all of this this going on. And I just have on my Steve Madden, you know two strap shoe that everybody has because the heel's tall enough for this that sweeps the floor and I got this in a tall you know it's it's always mwah, when I get a tall okay and this is a Banana Republic tuxedo blazer from last year I have the off-white one and I have this one and I was going to put the off-white one on but this one kind of my husband even liked this one better with it, the darker shade champagne or whatever but I and, and this is my one of my favorite handbags is by Landry, you know, Dillard's Carries Landry. And if you need an evening bag, some dressy bag, check out Landry, L-A-N-D-R-Y Landry. Dillard's has them. Beautiful. And look at that. It has a, a strap in here too, but the perfect little bag to carry with this. I stuck on my little princess headband. I didn't know. Is it too much or not enough? Just something. You want to feel dressed. And I stuck the flower here. Now let me show you. Let me sit this down and show you about this dress. I was thinking of sending it back. I'm still on the fence about this dress, even though I love all of this. Because wherever I'm going, I'm dressed. It's elegant. 
it's princess like I could put it on with a, another kind of blazer you know shorter tapered and the flowers here for a reason this time but I'm gonna take it off and show you why this is a size four I think this is a four I got because I know me up here is never gonna fit but I'll show you why I'm thinking of ordering it in a six even though I'll never get that six to fit my bust but this is why see right here well I think a six may make it fall looser right here otherwise it's maybe my torso's too short or something and I've got the straps all the way up I put the flower here because it just was open it still needs some tailoring I'm gonna have to have it tailored you know but it's one of those dresses I'll never wear without the jacket <laughs> Because it's just me, I get cold, but I might want to wear it with a beautiful shawl. But this was about, this I think needs to be, if I get it in the six, will this fall a little more gracefully here, down more? But if I stand up straight, you know how we do those things with our, with our clothes, things. Well, if I stand like this, I can wear it. <laughs> I know you, you do it, because I do it with a bunch of stuff. Well, okay, just. But, uh, you know, and I've watched Karen and, and others. Sometimes things don't fit exactly, or we might have to safety pin something. You're going to have the jacket on anyway, and nobody's going to know if you can get by. So, again, but I think this is maybe my torso's too long, or, or this is too short that it's doing this. I don't like that it's doing that. But I like it. I love the dress. I feel like, like, like Jill Good, her middle-aged mix, but you like it, but I like it, but I like it. I mean, look at it. It's fully lined, ladies. It's got the lining. It's got those accordion pleats set in. I think it's beautiful. I think it's beautiful, and I think it's the great finale for this video when we dressed up. We dressed the part this week. Did we not dress the part? We dressed the part this week. Yes, we did. Let's put our jacket on. <laughs> I want to thank you for joining me. I always appreciate you spending some time out of your day with me. It's not getting dressed graceful. <laughs> Look at this. And, but I love this jacket. I, you know I'm here every Thursday. I will be back next Thursday. And I think we'll calm it down next Thursday and make it a little more casual, but this was fun. It's fun. It's always fun to play dress up, ladies. I don't know about you, but I love playing dress up. I love putting on some pretty things and, you know, just feeling like a princess. Feeling like a princess. All right, and you can touch on your inner princess and be classic, simple, and pretty. You know what I always say. You know, you must be the change you want to see in yourself and in the world. You must be the change you want to see in yourself. And whatever you do, wherever you go, leave a little bit of kindness. A little bit of kindness. Come back and see me next week, ladies. And keep styling and be beautiful.